plotting President Assad's overthrow and planning for a future democratic state. 400 Syrian exiled opposition leaders meet in Istanbul. The meeting was to have been linked by video with opposition members inside Syria, but violence on Friday in Damascus saw that cancelled. Hopefully it would not affect our conference since everything is done here in coordination with the inside. The, unfortunately, uh, it was cancelled for security reasons and that's understandable, but we are in, uh, in uh, direct contact with the inside. Those at the gathering represent a broad spread of exiled opposition figures, among them the former head of the Muslim Brotherhood. We are here obliged to call on all the Syrians to denounce sectarian divisions of any shape or form in order to maintain the momentum of the revolution. Secondly, we cannot accept any foreign intervention in our domestic affairs. The opposition leaders say there is now no way back for President Assad. They say the time for dialogue has passed and he must step down. We have so many uh, opinions in the opposition, but they all agree on one thing. Stop the killing in the streets. They all agree on one thing, establishing justice in the country. And they all agree on one important thing. Dialogue is impossible now after uh, uh, the army and the Secret Service people just uh, started killing the and stopping the demonstrators in the streets. Those at the meeting hope to elect a group of leaders and later form a shadow government with those inside Syria. They say this will be ready and waiting when change comes to the country. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera. Well, after decades of repression, Syria's opposition is pretty fragmented. Let me show you some of the key figures who are attending this conference in uh, Istanbul at, at the moment. Ali Sadr al-Din al-Bayouni is the exiled former leader of the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria. The 73-year-old lawyer led the banned Islamist group in Syria in the 1970s. That's not him. Uh, and you're not going to see this next person, are you? Yes, you have. Uh, Sheikh uh, Mohammed al uh, Yakubi, that's not him either, the Islamic scholar. Hang on, now, let, let's, let's, let's forget that because we're showing you the wrong pictures of people. Let's uh, speak now to one of the people, in fact, the gentleman you saw in that picture there, uh, the uh, prominent opposition figure, Haytham al Mala, who joins us now uh, live from that conference in uh, Istanbul. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Um, what is this meeting going to be able to uh, do to yes. help the people on the ground in Syria who want change? Okay, uh, you know we are in a uh, revolution uh, situation. Uh, through this uh, kind of situation, uh, all the people move in Syria and outside. Uh, all of them, they have the right to make meeting, to cooperate, and then to give their idea for how we can change our country to future. Absolutely. So I, 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 I hear what you're saying, sir, but how, how is this going to help people on the ground inside Syria who are protesting day after day, week after week, uh, are, are, are facing uh, a violent uh, response from the authorities in Syria? How will this meeting help them? Yeah. We will uh, build our council here in Istanbul maybe some branches for uh, help the, the people who are uh, move, in movement in, uh, in the street by uh, money, for example, by, uh, for me, by uh, meeting a lot of people here, response people in Turkey and in other countries, to use pressure upon the regime to stop uh, attack the uh, the people by streets or uh, the demonstration. So we will do the best. Uh, after uh, the conference finish, finish uh, we will uh, have some people, some groups work everywhere. 